Hey there Splash fans, uh, Squirtle here from Splash Brothers, um, just getting you a bit, wanted to come and give you a bit of an update about the TCG scene here in Christchurch for 2022. Um, first of all, sorry that we haven't been updating at all for the last six-ish months, it's been a bit of a crazy time here in New Zealand and we just haven't really um, had this as a bit of a priority, but we're back um, and we're keen. And um, we're going to kick things off strongly when the Brilliant Stars officially releases um, in hopefully two weeks. Uh, but it's probably going to be a bit longer just due to some international delays that are currently going on. That have been announced by, um, by Tian at Collect All Day today. So we appreciate that Tian, um, keeping the wider community up to date with what's going on internationally. And, uh, but we're going to have about 12 booster boxes total that will be opening on the channel. Um, so you get plenty of insight as to what cards are in the set, um, what our opinions are about what's playable, what's not, and uh, where to be focusing your attention as a player, but also as a collector as well, what's going on there, and um, guiding you through that. Um, so we'll try and do a range of different videos coming up. Um, also getting some streaming equipment as well. So my plan there is that I want to... Um, starts doing some streaming on the Switch, uh, maybe doing some Shining Pearl or Legends of Arceus or even going a little bit older with Sword Shield um, playthrough and just um, having some fun with that with you guys and um, doing it on Twitch and obviously uploading that here at YouTube as well. So, um, so that's that. Uh, but the TCG scene here um, in terms of the players and the contests and all that has gotten off to a great start here in 2022. Um, we had the first qualifier of local store challenge for the latest round of the store challenge series um, being hosted by Pokemon International, which is awesome. Um, and so I was the judge that event, so I wasn't participating in it, um, but rather just overseeing it, um, helping do that with my fellow professor, Danette, who is awesome and was a tournament organizer and just ran a fantastic event. So thank you, Danette, for all your work there. And um, really, we just saw a range of decks on display. So we saw decks like um, New VMAX, which is the number one deck in format at the moment. We saw um, in, on an international scale, uh, we had Single Strike Box, we had Rapid Strike Box, we had um, Eternatus VMAX, we had Rayquaza VMAX, um, and a whole bunch of other decks on display. Um, which is really, really cool to so see. I think the Zacian V Union made an appearance. Um, really, really good, really, really good range that we saw out on display. And what won was what I thought would win, um, which was Single Strike Box. In my opinion, it is the best deck in format. Um, I just think the versatility that it offers is um, unparalleled in the current format. Um, just the ability to switch between Fighting Type and Dark Type going from a single striker issue through VMAX to Umbreon VMAX um, and just pivoting and adjusting depending on what you're, what you're playing into. Um, it's just completely unparalleled at the moment in the, in the, in the current scene. So Jace, Jace Big uh, won the first qualifier at TCG Collector playing the, um, single strike box. Well done Jace, he played extremely well, went undefeated for the tournament going 6-0 um, by the time he went through the Top four rounds of qualifier and then two rounds of top cup. Um, he just played extremely well, just barely any misplays. Um, even had matches where he just wasn't really lined up into the right thing, but just managed to adjust, um, think his plays through, and then just executed like a champ. So um, fully deserves to go through as the number one qualifier for that store. Um, he's in the second store in Christchurch um, Game Corner in Upper Rickardham. Um, that's the store that I'm personally going to be trying to qualify for him, as I'm judging for TCG and all four of its qualifiers. And um, the great thing about this particular round of store challenges is that people can try and participate in up to three stores in terms of their qualifying phase. Once they've qualified, obviously they can't participate anymore, but just the fact that it just allows you to play into multiple qualifiers, so you can play really up to 12 if you need to. Um, in order to try and get your place into a store, um, which just makes it great for countries like New Zealand where the competitive scene is 
a lot less number of players as compared to some other places. So um, I think that's great. Um, I think it's lined up really well for us and just allowing us to get um, every opportunity possible in order to try and qualify for a store. So um, Game Corner's first event is Saturday the 26th of February, which is next week. I'm excited for that. It's going to be great. Um, I have not decided yet what I'm going to play. Um, Mac might be drilled on VMAX with its um, denial of special energies. Um, it could be Ice Rider VMAX with just pure speed. And um, Squirtle here does love his water types. So it could be leaning towards that. Um, who knows, I might even build something that's completely out of the realm. I might go some down the path of something. Um, Bolton VMAX or... Um, could play my new Phalanx deck, which um, people are finding incredibly frustrating at the moment. Um, could play, yeah, there's a whole range of things that I'm, that I'm toying with at the moment. Zacian V Union, um, I find that incredibly consistent. Um, and just the new cards that are coming through as well, so it's going to make it even more um, easier to play and easier to discard cards and, um, and all that. So that's going to be awesome. Um, so just watch the space, really, as to what's going to go on there. Um, but the other thing I wanted to know, um, make a point about as well, is that we just had the first pre-release for Brilliant Stars here in Christchurch on Thursday night, which was yesterday um, at, at the time of this recording. Um, and it was great to see a sellout event of 20 people turn up for that um, awesome times. Um, and it was just great to see. Um, everyone had a great time. There was minimal issues. Just thought the event seemed to run pretty smoothly, and um, it was my first time having a go at tournament organizer, and so um, that was that was quite a new thing for me as well, which I had a great time doing, um, and it was just great to be part of the community in that way. Um, so thank you to the community for turning up. We appreciate that. Um, can't do it without you guys, and realistically, that's what we're here for: is to um, yeah, help provide you guys with, with safe and but really fun events. And uh, but we saw Chris Chen, um, big time collector, uh, the biggest collector in Christchurch that I know of, quite potentially the biggest collector in New Zealand. Um, he took out the event, uh, not even he's not a player, but he rocked on in and went 5 0 to rock out the competition. And he left with his f um, three booster packs for Brilliant Stars as his prizing, and then he got an extra two for going undefeated, so leaving with a total of five. Um, and then we've got the Game Corner event this Sunday um, at Game Corner at 2 o'clock for the pre-release event for Brilliant Stars. So if you're in Christchurch or going to be around Christchurch on Sunday and you want to get some early access to some Brilliant Stars action, uh, you want to get down to Game Corner, um, register, find them on Facebook, uh, register, um, get on on the event there. They'll have the Google link associated with it so you can register. Um, or you can look for it on some of the um, Christchurch Facebook pages. We'll make sure that it's there as well. Um, and I'll put it up on the Splash Brothers Facebook page too. So if you haven't connected on that, make sure you do Splash Brothers um, New Zealand on Facebook, Splash Brothers TCG on Facebook. Um, yep. Give us a like. Um, like this video. Subscribe to this video if you really enjoyed it. Um, but there's plenty going on in the Christchurch TCG scene for this year, and we're just seeing new players come out of the woodwork and rise into the challenge, and it's a great time to be part of the Pokemon scene here in Christchurch. So, uh, once again, my name's Squirtle, um, also known as Joel in real life, and uh, it's what my wife calls me, um, and we, and um, yeah, thank you for, for watching, have a great day, have a great weekend ahead. And um, I might see some of you this Sunday at the Game Corner event. All right. Have a great night, guys. And thank you. Bye.